Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we have our Chasson Smoke rocket stove out here and uh, we built this uh, Thanksgiving morning uh, from the DIY kit from Chasson Smoke. So uh, we're going to go ahead and light it. I want to do a series of videos of burning different things with it and see how long it takes different things to boil water. So uh, we're going to do a short video here. We're going to try something that I have not seen burnt in a rocket stove yet, and that's a corn cob. So we've got plenty of these. Go ahead and load some in it here. They're actually like the perfect length to go right in here. Let me go grab a couple more because a couple more will fit in there. We actually got a little bit of corn on the ends of these. These are all ears of corn that we shelled out in the shop to just test moisture before we started picking. So they're good and dry, they've been in the shop. So our fuel hopper's full. Now I'm gonna come to the back. We'll open our dampener a little bit here. Get a little air. We've got just a fire starter cube here. I'm gonna pull the ash pan out. Hopefully, Hopefully, my matches aren't junk. There we go. Light that cube up. Oh, it's already drafting. It's sucking that flame right up in them corn cobs. Oh, yeah. It's burning already. Okay. Shove that in there. Now I'll let it uh, get burning good. And then I'll grab a pot that I have in the shop. We'll put some water in it. Then we'll time it and see how long it takes it to boil the water with corn cobs. Now we can also throw a few corn cobs down the stack. Just like so. Let them get burning. Let's put the rest of these in here. Get the fit. So I want to try a, a few different things in here. I want to try some coal. We'll see what happens with that. And then I want to try to make a corn burner rocket stove. Now that I kind of got the idea how they work, I'm making my own. Well, we got some nice flame going on in there. It's definitely warm around it, that's for sure. As the snow hits it, it's turning into steam instantly. So I think we can slow that flame down with our dampener down here. Oh yeah. As soon as I close that, the sound changed. Open it back up, it sounds like a rocket. Close it. Open it. That's pretty cool. I think that's where they get the name rocket stove from all right I'm gonna go get my pot and 16 ounces of water we'll see how long it takes it to boil it all right so this is just an old pot I had in the shop I dumped some water in it 16 ounces of water there nothing fancy I'll put that on there and keep track of the time and see how long it takes course we're not going to video the whole thing well the water is getting warm but you know what they say a watched pot never boils so uh, we can't watch it or it's never gonna boil but we got steam coming off of it I'm gonna look away you guys can stay watching but I can't because I can't watch it I do have the stopwatch on right now just to see how long it's going to take. So far we're at a minute 36. I'm 
make sure that our corn cob stays slid down. The neighbor's dogs are going to start barking, of course. Well, there we have it. We've got a good, we've got a rolling boil at 352, 353. Now we got a really good boil. So about four minutes with corn cobs. Got it really hot, really quick. So we can have water boiling in four minutes with corn cobs. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool off, take it back in the shop. Maybe next Sunday we'll uh, burn something else in it and see how long it takes to uh, get a uh, pot of 16 ounces of water to boil. Our pot will be a little cleaner next, next time. Uh, this is the pot that I usually throw on my wood stove with water in it just to keep some moisture in the air in the shop. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. That's what I've seen all the old timers do, so that's what I did. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. See you all in the next one. And uh, if you're interested in these Chass on Smoke uh, rocket stoves, you can either buy them already built or you can buy the DIY kits. And they also have different top pieces you can put on them uh, that are like kind of a grill top so I thought that was pretty cool I might order me one for this one or I might make my own we'll see what happens so definitely a cool thing to have and as far as finishing it I'm just going to kind of let it season like you would cast iron I'm not going to not going to paint it or anything because the paint's going to burn off anyway so we're just going to leave it the way it is and just let it go so Oh yeah, that water is boiling nice. There's like some impurities or something in there from just the other water that had boiled out of it. Alright, thanks for watching.